Oh, hello there, all of my wonderful, beautiful subscriber friends and non-subscriber friends as well. Welcome to the channel. This is A Duke Art. I like to make paintings and give you guys a little commentary of my thought process while I'm doing so. So as you can tell for this one, we just kind of jumped right in. Now, the design for this piece has kind of popped into my head one evening, and I really wanted to try it out and put it on some canvas. I knew it was going to be pretty straightforward, pretty uh, simplistic, and uh, so here we are trying to execute it. Started out with just some pencil marks, some charcoal and pencil and oil pastels, and then sprayed some water on it, which creates some dripping effects from the charcoal, as you can see there. Now for most of my paintings, I try to put my marks or my subject matter kind of on the left side of the canvas or the right side of the canvas, trying to follow the rule of thirds, which is just a composition tool. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I will do a composition video uh, and talk about the rule of thirds. But for this one, I decided to go against that rule just a little bit and put things right in the middle. So not on the left side, not on the right side. And I just wanted to switch it up, take a little risk, try something new, get out of my comfort zone, and see how it turned out. Now as far as color scheme goes for this piece, I'm just going to stick with this green color. It's a kind of a muted olive green. Um, and then I'm going to tone it down with some white, some tan. And I wanted to employ a little ombre, a little uh, gradient. So dark colors on top and then getting lighter as the marks go down. A lot of people have asked me what happens when you paint over oil pastels with acrylic paint, which is exactly what I'm doing with this painting and I, what I do with most of my paintings. Does it cover it up fine? Does it peel off after a while? Uh, and the truth is it covers it up just fine. Um, now once your acrylic paint dries, if you were to go back and rub that area or scrape that area, it would scrape off. So just be careful not to do those things after your painting has dried and you will be fine.
Okay, that about wraps it up for this piece. I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to ask any questions. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any content.